It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Beeson Brewery's Old Stout Warbler coming in at 6% ABV. There's a look at the label. Black bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. And look at that. A lovely stout like looking ale in a glass gonna leave a little bit of beer in the bottom of the bottle it's probably a bottle conditioned beer we'll get to that in a moment we got a two finger tan colored head more or less a jet black beer in the glass you can see a little bit of light bleeding through at the bottom of the glass which may suggest that it could it could end up being a really dark ruby mild who knows? Carbonation streaming up the side of the glass. Um, yeah, interesting look. It's amazing. You can almost, I've tasted so much beer now that I can almost taste the beer even before. Just by looking at it, I can taste. I know what's in the glass. Just by looking at it. This beer is available from beersofeurope.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beer from all around the world. Check out the link in the description box of the video for beersofeurope.co.uk. On with the aroma. Hmm. Yeah, and there you go. I was looking for something. I was looking, do you know when you get a carbonated stout? When you see that carbonation streaming up the glass, you generally think to yourself, I'm gonna get something that's not as thick and gloopy as I may want in a stout. You can see that. And also, when you see that carbonation, you might be thinking in your mind also that it could be one of those kind of dark ruby mild type beer or a dark mild. Let's take away the word ruby and say dark mild. Spicy, plummy, figgy beer. Not massively, and this is the key, it's not massive with the, the chocolate malt, the biscuit the chocolate, the coffee, the caramel aromas. And for me, that's a little bit, you kind of want that. You kind of want that from the stout. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, exactly. Exactly what I was expecting. Lots of hops. Lots of kind of bitterness on the back end, lots of plum, fig, prune, vinous qualities. Like it, it is a red wine quality in the beer. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe this is a bit of everybody. I think a lot of people have heard about this beer, Old Stout Wobbler. I certainly have. Um, it's a bit of a, let's get that yeast in. It's a bit of a well-known beer in the UK. So it's hard for me to say, add some more roasted malt, but I kind of want to, or maybe add some oats or something to the beer, just to give it a little bit more body. For the 6% stout, it's lacking body. It's too much like a, a dark mild for me. There is some roasted malts, of course there is, it's a dark beer. There's some chocolate, coffee, caramel, but there's not enough of it. There's not enough by far of this. It needs some oats, it, it needs something to give it some body, some depth to the beer. I just reviewed a fantastic beer from The Magnificent Men. Sure that, was some, that was some beast and brewery, wasn't it? Yeah, I've just reviewed this and it was staggering. Staggering beer. And I got my hopes up with this. I thought, whoa, this is going to be staggering as well. Same brewery, beast and brewery. 
But there's not enough oats, there's not enough roasted malt for me. There's not enough mouthfeel, a creamy, depthy, lovely, chocolatey mouthfeel that I like from a stout. Though I think the branding's great, the label's great, everything is great about the beer. Just maybe get some more roasted malt in and some oats. It's too vinous, it's too... It's too plum-like, it's too... Nice bitterness. A little bit of biscuit malt, a little bit of chocolate malt, a little bit of coffee and caramel. But then it's really vinous, it's really kind of almost acidic and vinous and plummy and figgy and all your dark fruits and... Too much that way, too much that way in the balance. It needs to come, way, come, come this way a little bit more, more malts added to the beer. I'm going to rate it. First of all, I'm going to mention uh, something about vegans and stuff on here and bottle condition beer. Um, Old Stout Warbler was created and brewed by Andy Mitchell at the Spectrum Brewery. He has now passed the secret recipe to Beeston Brewery so that the legend of this strong black pardon me, stout continues. Um, Maybe, maybe it's a popular style. Where are they based in Norfolk? Maybe, maybe the lovely people at Norfolk they like this doubts like this. Um, maybe it's all down to me. Maybe it's the fact that I've had too many of these new world stouts from America and the new world stouts from the new world breweries in the UK, and they're full of oats and creaminess and depth and chocolate and coffee caramel. It's almost like you want to put your knife and fork through it. Maybe it's my palate. Maybe you guys out there might appreciate this beer a lot more. Uh, certainly the people who like this beer, you're going to appreciate this beer more than, more than me, I'm afraid. So for me, I'm going to give it quite a lowly 5 out of 10. It's a 5 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily peer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.